So in this problem, we use uh, the error term, uh, the Taylor series expansion of e to the x to find an estimate of e within point zero zero uh, or point zero 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 one. And the first step that we take is just to find bounds on the error function. So we want to show that zero is less than um, the error function if we evaluate it at one, and it's less than three over k plus one factorial. So to do this, we use the Taylor-Lagrange theorem, <coughs> and uh, which says that, of course, that the error is says that the error is equal to um, the absolute value of the um, n plus one derivative of f, which is just going to be e to the x, evaluated at some point c, where c is um, in some interval right around zero, over uh, n plus one factorial, and times uh, x minus center a, so just x to the n plus one. Okay, so we know that, um, let's see. All right, so we want to find an upper bound on um, e to the c. Well, if we assume that um, taking values within plus or minus one of zero, then this is always going to be less than or equal to e uh, over n plus one factorial. And this will always be less than or equal to 1. So we can also use the fact that um, uh, we proved earlier that e is less than or equal to 3. So that shows that this is um, less than or equal to 3 over, and I just realized that you're using n's instead of k's. We replace every n with a k. We get exactly what we were asked to prove, or one half of it at least. Uh, anyway, that um, the error term is less than 3 over k plus 1 factorial. So to show that it's um, strictly greater than 0, we just notice the same thing, that this is um, always non-zero, and k plus 1 factorial, again, will always be non-zero. And as long as we're taking non-zero values of x, we get um, this will always be non-zero. So this must be, we know that it's greater than zero since we're taking the absolute value. So it can't equal zero, it must be strictly greater. All right, so the next part asks us to estimate uh, e within point zero 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 one of, uh, of the correct value. So we know what the a bound on the error term is. So if we just make the error less than 0 0.0001, figure out how many terms out we need to go in order to make make the error that small. In other words, figure out how how large or what's the smallest value of k that we can take such that 3 over k plus 1 factorial is um, less than 0 0.001. Well, if we just kind of do this in brute force and look at 3 over 1 factorial, 3 over 1 plus 1 factorial, 3 over 2 factorial, keep going, we'll find that the smallest value is when k is equal to 7. And when k is equal to 7, then we get uh, 3 over 8 factorial is approximately equal to 0 0.00000744. This means that, well, our approximation of E is going to be, well, 1 plus uh, 1 plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 
1 over 3 factorial all the way up to 1 over 8 factorial. Uh, excuse me, 1 over 7 factorial, which is approximately 2.7182. Uh, 